Every year, the best football team in America is determined by the Super Bowl. But today, it's going to be decided by NFL imperialism on NFL Regional 25. But let me explain the rules, all right? Marked on this map are the 32 teams that you can play with on NFL Regional 25. And what I'll be doing is I'll be spinning this wheel to pick a team and then spinning this arrow to see which direction they would attack in. So, for example, I got the commanders and they're going northeast, so the commanders would head into a Baltimore, where they battle it out on NFL Rush Bowl 25. Now, the winning team wouldn't just get to claim their territory, but they also get to take the opponent's best player on their team. And pretty much, I'll be repeating this process until one team takes over all of America. Pick your team in the comments down below. You already know I got my Niners winning it all, because NFL Rush Bowl 25 imperialism starts right now. Here we go. Let's spin the wheel for the first team here. We have the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, what a start. Let's see which direction they are headed in here man the Cowboys in our first game they're heading northeast which means they skip this state and they head to Kansas City oh my goodness here we go week eight against the Chiefs Mahomes Pacheco Kelsey Hardman Jr. Worthy Morris and Jones my goodness uh, Dak Prescott CeeDee Lamb Tyler Smith the superstars let's see who wins the first game of the imperialism all right we're at halftime Kansas City is up by seven will they take the first game oh my god they blow them out and <laughs> just like that that first game, the Cowboys are eliminated from the map. That's kind of funny. And because they skipped a state, Kansas City gets to take this state as well. But wow, Dallas is eliminated from the imperialism map. Just like that, Texas is Kansas City. Now that also means the Chiefs get to take CeeDee Lamb from the Cowboys. These guys are so overpowered. They're like cheating. Oh my God, CeeDee Lamb is now on the Chiefs. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Let's move on. All right, let's see what team is up next for the imperialism. We got the Bengals, Cincinnati. Natty. Let's see which direction they're going with. East, southeast-ish. If we go southeast, we have a matchup against the Washington Commanders. We have an LSU Heisman quarterback matchup between Jaden Daniels and Joe Burrow. Let's see who comes out on top in the second game here. Washington off to a hot start. And the Bengals respond. Oh my god, Washington is blowing them out. Oh, 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 it's getting close. 14-point game in the fourth. Joe Burrow doesn't complete the comeback. Washington beats the Bengals 41-35, to which means Jamar Chase is now a commander. Commander. That connection with Jaden Daniels, him paired with Terry McLaurin, that might take him far in this tournament. Washington has taken over the empty state and has also taken away Cincinnati from the map. Gotta work on my coloring skills, man. This is hard. Wow. You might notice some of these power-up symbols that are scattered all over the map. You know what I'm saying? Some creativity from the boy. I'm gonna let you guys know what these power-up symbols do once a team claims them. All right, let's keep it moving. Cowboys and Bengals are eliminated. Let's see which team is up next. We have the Indianapolis Colts. Which direction are the Colts heading towards to? They're heading towards Southwest. Southwest means they're facing off against the Titans, but they also claim the health power-up. So the health power-up is really simple. You get an extra life. So if the Colts lose in this first game against Tennessee, they get a redo. They get to run it back. All right, run it back, Turbo. That's pretty big for the Colts because, you know, the Colts are, the Colts are kind of ass. Like this starting team, uh, I, I don't know. Titans are also pretty ass. So this should make out for an interesting game. All right, let's see what happens first quarter. Oh my God, it's competitive. Will the Colts need to use their extra life here? They will. Tennessee wins. But the Colts claim their extra life, so they're running it back. All right, we're running it back in Indy. Here we go. They're down again. Oh my God, no way is the same team going to beat them twice in a row. Tennessee said it doesn't matter. That means that Jonathan Taylor is on the Tennessee Titans. This is weird. I don't like this one. Ah, goodbye, Indianapolis. Tennessee has taken over. Wow, what an AFC south matchup there's already been so many crazy moments in this video man i can't wait to see the rest of it we got the cleveland browns Let's see which direction they're going in they're going what is that west southwest oh my god right next to them is the newly taken over tennessee titans let's see if the new titans with jonathan taylor at running back look at this card max rank max speed max stamina what is this card let's see if they can take down the cleveland browns and diddy watson here we go oh my god jonathan taylor titans can't score a point jonathan taylor Titans are struggling. They're down by 13, and Diddy Watson gets it done. The Titans couldn't come back. Wow. So now the Browns have taken over all of the Titans' territory right there. Wow. That looks so ugly. Look at this contrast of Brown here. The Cleveland Browns and Commanders so far have command of the East. And on top of that, the Cleveland Browns now get Jonathan Taylor as their starting running back over Nick Chubb. I personally think Nick Chubb is better, but the game tells me otherwise, so don't hurt, don't hurt me in the comments down below. Man, I'm 
I gonna find my 49ers, man? When is it gonna happen? No, we're staying east to the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, the Eagles, they have teams surrounding every single direction from them, except if they go to this little state right here. But most likely, they're gonna be playing a squad here, man. So let's see who they're gonna be playing, and they're gonna be playing the New York Giants. Here we go. Can Hurts lead his team down the field? Oh my goodness, Jalen Hurts. Oh, wow. Well, Jalen Hurts is throwing the ball way too much. Yeah, hand it off. Do the touch push, man. That ain't the Eagles. They beat the Giants there. Uh, who's the Giants' best player? There you go. Dexter Lawrence is now an Eagle. And also, Eagles get to take just this little territory right here. Right up there. There you go. Oh, great coloring, Hefe. Great coloring. Here is what the map looks like so far. Now, I'm going to add another rule. We're making up rules as we go, all right? But if a team wins by 30 or more points, we're going to allow that winning team to get an extra territory. Earlier, I think the Chiefs won by more than 30, but, you know, we don't like the Chiefs on this channel, so screw them, all right? The, the rules are implemented now. My goodness, all the action is happening on the east side, man. The west side is just chilling. Let's see which team is up next. We have the Chiefs again. Let's see which direction the Chiefs are headed to Towards. They're headed out west, finally. And they're gonna face off against the Denver Broncos, but Chiefs have hit another power-up, and that's the bench power-up. This one is actually not a power-up, and I put this purposely next to the Chiefs for a reason. Pretty much the Chiefs have to bench everybody. CD Lamb, you're not playing. All right, Mahomes, you're not playing either. Matter of fact, nobody's playing. Everybody's benched on this team. They're facing off against the Broncos. Please take about Denver. I'm so sick of these guys winning everything, man. Oh, Denver's up by three. Let's go. Come on, Denver, please. Come on. Bo Nix, baby. Why is it a close game? Oh, my God. That was too close. Denver is taking over a lot of territory. Oh, my goodness. Look at this, man. Yeah. Get rid of them right there. I think Denver's got the most territory so far on this map. They're owning the entire middle side section of America right now. That's kind of crazy. But that also means Denver gets to acquire quarterback Patrick Mahomes. That is absolutely huge. I'm so happy the Chiefs are eliminated right now. <laughs> that brings a smile to my face, man. The Jets. Oh, look at the little Jets right over here. Just chilling on the edge there. They're either facing the Eagles or the Ravens. They're going south. We go south. They're playing the Baltimore Ravens. Aaron Rodgers, Garrett Wilson against Lamar Jackson. Who's gonna come out on top? Let's go. Lamar Jackson starts out hot. First quarter, Baltimore Baltimore is up. Oh, Baltimore's been up the entire game. And Aaron Rodgers pull off a fourth quarter miracle. Oh, so close. But the Ravens take down the Jets 28 to 26, two point game. So they take over this region right here and they're also gonna take out the Jets logo. We'll see you later. But because Brees Hall and Derrick Henry are the same rating on Retro Bowl, I'm gonna let the Ravens keep their current squad. God, I feel like Roger Goodell right now, man. I feel like an owner. Let's keep it moving right here. Let's see what team we get next. Finally, here we go. My team. My pick right here, the San Francisco 49ers. Which way are we going right here? I ain't scared of nobody, matter of fact. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Which way is this? Northeast, we play Seattle. See, the problem with Seattle is... I don't really want anyone from Seattle. I don't think anybody's good enough from Seattle to crack the Niners roster. So we're purely here to take over some territory, all right? Let's get into it. All right, we're down early, but we got a big second quarter for the Niners. Third quarter off. Oh, San Francisco's blowing them out 41-7. to That's a 30-plus point win right there, which means the Niners get an extra territory there. And Seattle is officially eliminated from the NFL imperialism map. Let's go. That's a great start for the Niners right there. I actually don't want anyone from Seattle. I want to keep our roster the way it is. The wheel is getting smaller and smaller here. The next team we have is the Las Vegas Raiders. All right, the Niners took over a lot of territory nearby the Raiders. Let's see which direction they need to battle towards. Let's see. Ooh, they're going southeast here, which, which means they're facing off against uh, the Chargers, Cardinals. I'm going to say the Chargers. We're getting a lot of divisional matchups here. This is really, really interesting, man. Let's see who wins between the Raiders and Chargers to take over more land on the west side. I hear the Raiders are up early. Can they finish it out? The Raiders win against the Chargers 13 to 7. A very low scoring game. Brock Bowers had a great game. All right, I mean, let's see what the Raiders need. They need they need a lot. But it starts with QB. And the Raiders are gonna get one here in Justin Herbert. Maybe Devontae Adams would stay if they had Justin Herbert on their team. But that is crazy. Raiders take over. Now the AFC West is interesting because we only have the Broncos and the Raiders left. The Raiders have Herbert, the Broncos have Mahomes. That's kind of nuts. I can't wait to see if they match up later on. Let's see which team is up next after the AFC West showdown. We have the Chicago Bears. All right, I mean, the Bears are surrounded with teams here. Let's see which direction the Bears are headed towards. They're headed northeast. Northeast from the Bears would be the Detroit Lions. Another divisional showdown. Getting towards the end of the
this game. Who's gonna come up with the win? Detroit comes up with a seven point win. They eliminate the Bears from contention right there. They take over Illinois. Everyone is coming closer together. We are coming down to the wire. Still got some power ups left on the map too. Should make for a great ending. The Lions are also going to be able to acquire Jaquan Brisker from the Bears to bolster their secondary in the future. All right, who's next up, man? We got the Arizona Cardinals. They have yet to play in this tournament. Let's see which direction they will be headed towards. Ooh. Fourth West is where they are headed, which means they face off against the Las Vegas Raiders. There is a lot They're of land here for Vegas. Remember, they took down the Chargers. I'm excited to see if Justin Herbert can lead his new team, the Raiders, in a win against Arizona here, man. First quarter, Arizona's up early. Herbert, what is he doing with this offense? Oh, there he goes. 21 points in the second quarter. Oh my God. Herbert is putting up points. Oh wow, Raider Nation. The Raiders are dangerous. 52 points. I feel like the Raiders haven't seen 52 points since like the first John Gruden era. Oh my God. That is a dangerous squad. The Raiders take over Arizona. And the West Coast looks like that, man. Rams, Niners, Raiders. Raiders also get to pick up old lineman Will Hernandez. Five-star old lineman. The best old lineman on the game. So there's some protection for Justin Herbert, man. The Raiders might be a sleeper pick to win the whole thing. 11 teams have been eliminated. 21 teams remain. We have the Broncos here. This could be huge. The Broncos own so much land. Let's see which direction they will be headed towards here, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. The Broncos are heading south southwest they'll pass by this empty state and they'll play the las vegas raiders wow a lot of land is at stake here they also unlock the dice roll we are gonna roll a dice from one to six and the broncos are allowed to steal one of the raiders six best players herbert we're starting at one moving across the bowers that's one two three adams is four hernandez is five max crosby is six let's see who the broncos get in this dice roll right here Number five, they get Will Hernandez, who just joined the Raiders. Buddy, you're going to the Broncos. You're protecting for Mahomes. So this is the new look Broncos right here. Will Hernandez, Patrick Mahomes. And they're coming up against the Justin Herbert-led Raiders, all right? The matchup of the night is here. Let's see if Mahomes or Herbert. Let's see who gets it done. Denver up 14 to 10 early here. Denver's still up. They've held the lead. Oh, Herbert takes the lead. Fourth quarter here. Herbert throw over the middle. Incomplete. Here come the Broncos. It is a passing play. Oh. Oh my god, Javante fumbles. Oh, here come the Raiders. Oh, here come the Raiders. Is Mahomes getting eliminated by Herbert? What is happening right here, ladies and gentlemen? Broncos have possession. It is short of the first down. They kick a field goal. They make it a seven-point game. Lots kicks off for the Broncos. Broncos need to stop. They get it. Mahomes has 57 seconds left to tie the game. Can he do it? Incomplete pass. Mahomes. <laughs> Going for it on fourth down. This is for game, and he gets it. Oh, my God. Patrick Mahomes is out here balling with the Denver Broncos, and he scores the touchdown. What a game right here. We're headed to overtime. This could be huge for the Imperialism. Justin Herbert gets the ball. He hands it off. Singleton misses the tackle. They go for the pass again. Oh, my God. Herbert can win the game here. Justin Herbert can win the game here. Singleton is too slow. Can the Denver Broncos get eliminated? Singleton was too slow. The Denver Broncos have been eliminated. We'll see you later, Mahomes. Raiders beat the Broncos in an overtime game. Oh my god, that was a close game. Wait, but Mahomes then goes to the Raiders. So the Raiders now have Patrick Mahomes. He replaces the quarterback that he just lost to in Justin Herbert. I mean, I, I mean, I, I guess that was the Broncos' best player. But more importantly, all of this land now belongs to Raider Nation. Oh my god, the sea of black right in the middle south of America. Raider Nation is taking over. It's like a virus. We need the Niners to take care of this. Let's see who's up next after that matchup. We got the Cleveland Browns. Back to the Cleveland Browns here. Let's see which direction they will be headed towards. They're headed towards east, southeast. They're facing off against the Washington Commanders right here. What is that era? My goodness, man. Now remember, Jonathan Taylor is on the Browns, and Jamar Chase is also on the Commanders, so there is a lot at stake here. Jonathan Taylor on the Browns versus Jamar Chase on the Commanders. Oh, and it's a low-scoring game. It seems like none of them matter. Oh my god, it's tight. 10 to 10 here in the battle of the brown-colored football teams. Who's gonna come up on top? Washington with Jamar Chase wins the battle right there, man. 27-24. Just like that, the Commanders have taken over Cleveland's land right here. Oh, they got a big share on the east side. Since they got Jamar Chase last time, I'm going to give them a defensive player from the Browns. They're going to steal Miles Garrett off of the Browns to give him a pass rush D-line. Oh, my God. This duo is absolutely filthy. And the Commanders make it far in the NFL imperialism on NFL Regible 25. We shall see. Take. 
Take it down. We want to take it down. Sorry, I don't know why I'm in the singing mood. We got the Miami Dolphins. Let's see which direction the Dolphins are headed towards. Yeah, that is literally Mexico. <laughs> that would not work for the Dolphins, man. All right, and that is Africa. Give me something that's facing north, man. No. I think this line just skips the Panthers, and I think it goes all the way up to the Patriots. That that seems right. That's kind of nuts, considering the Dolphins are all the way in nowhere. They still face off against a divisional rival. Two new teams heading into the Imperialism map for the first time. Let's see who's gonna conquer some more land. 10 to 6 for the Patriots. 20. Oh my god, 26 to 6. Patriots get a 30 plus point win here. They don't. They get a 16 point win. That's some quick math. Oh my god, I'm so easy. 29 to 13 for the Patriots means they take over South Beach, man. South Beach is New England territory now. On top of that, Tyree Kill is now a New England Patriot. Ugh, I don't like that. That's weird. He's on the squad with Drake May and Hunter Henry. He's one of the boys. This wheel is getting smaller and smaller, man. This is getting crazy here. Now we got the Green Bay Packers first appearance in this video. Let's see which direction they're headed towards right here. The Green Bay Packers are headed northwest, which means they're facing off against the Minnesota Vikings right here. Another divisional matchup. I, I can't get over it. Let's see who's gonna conquer this NFC North matchup right here. The Vikings fans are going, school, school. School. Oh, the Packers won. Okay, never mind. I thought the Vikings would win right there. The Packers beat them by seven. All right, they're taking over Minnesota. Minnesota! Guys, this is one of my longest recorded videos, man. If you guys don't mind leaving a like on this video, I rarely beg for likes. You guys know this. That's how long this video is taking me. I gotta make sure I'm coloring right, too. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot that I'm doing here, man. All I need is a like out of you. That's it, man. Green Bay has a nice piece of land there. There's still a lot of empty land here, sort of in the upper middle section. A lot of teams still alive in the Northeast section as well. And that also means Justin Jefferson joins the Green Bay Packers. He is Jordan Love's new partner in crime. Jordan Love and Justin Jefferson on one team. Haven't had a power up in a while. There's still two left on the board. Now we have the Atlanta Falcons, a new team here. All right, let's see which direction the Atlanta Falcons are headed towards. They're heading sort of Southwest. That means they're passing by two empty states and they're facing off against the New Orleans Saints. They also unlocked the Bandit Power Up. All right, so I got the Saints' eight best players here. And the Atlanta Falcons get to be the Bandit. And they get to steal one of their players before the game. All right, so here we go. Let's see which player they're going to get. And the Atlanta Falcons get Alvin Kamara. The problem is the Falcons don't even need Kamara. This might be a downgrade to their team. Because they already had Bijan Robinson and Algier. Both four and a half star running backs on this game. Here we go. Kamara's in the lineup for the Atlanta Falcons. He's playing the Saints. Saints have Kendra Miller in as running back. So here we go, man. Let's see what happens here. And Kamara lighted up for the Falcons right here. The Falcons are losing. Saints are doing pretty well without Kamara. It's a seven point game and they lose. Oh my God. Wait, I I think the Falcons best player is Alvin Kamara. Wait, so are we just like giving him back? Are we just sending him back over? Yeah, I mean, okay, or it's Kyle Pitts, but Kyle Pitts is clearly not better than Alvin Kamara. So we're sending Alvin Kamara back to the Saints, I guess. But more importantly, the Saints, they now own a ton of land here. They got Georgia. Look at this, man. Take him out there. Take the Falcons logo out there. That is all Saints territory, baby. It's coming down to the wire, man. I actually don't know who's going to win this. The Raiders look like they have the best shot right now. I'm not trying to see Mahomes win something at all. So we can't have the Raiders win. We need the Niners to win this. It's kind of funny how we're so far into this video now and the Carolina Panthers are somehow still alive just by not doing anything. Like, they've just stayed put under the commanders this entire time, man. We got the Raiders. Oh boy, Raiders own a lot of land. This could be big. Let's see which direction the Raiders have to go here. This could be huge. They're going directly west. And that, that's a matchup against the Niners. It, it, that's a matchup. This is the biggest matchup of the video so far. The Bay Area Area rivalry is back. All right, this time with Mahomes on the Raiders. Here we go. Mahomes led Raiders. They're playing against San Francisco, who knocked out Seattle earlier. We didn't take any players from Seattle. Who's going to win this game? The Bay Area showdown right here at halftime. It's time. What a matchup this is right here. Can we please not lose to Mahomes? Like, this would actually break my heart. Come on, Niners. Come on. There you go. Oh, I'm cheering for the other team. Come on, Niners. Yes. CMC, baby. No, not Mahomes, man. Oh, my God. This is giving me PTSD. This actually hurts my brain knowing that Mahomes is frying my team team on the video game as well come on Niners go no please Purdy oh no way CMC fumbles there man no no, no. this is how we're gonna go out we're gonna lose to the Raiders 
You're joking me, man. 54 to 51. No, I'm pissed. I don't even want to record the rest of the video anymore. No way the Raiders are about to win this video. You're joking, man. Oh, this hurts. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. Oh, my God. Look at this sea of black right here. Patrick Mahomes is still alive. Oh. <laughs> Get this guy out of here. Oh, if the Niners beat the Raiders too, I would have selected Max Crosby. So he just completely eliminated Patrick Mahomes from the video. But he sticks around and now he's got Christian McCaffrey to hand the ball off to. The Raiders? are probably the favorites. That is a filthy duo. Oh my god, and I gotta eliminate the Niners from the wheel. Jesus, that was depressing, man. Let's see who is up next, man. The Eagles. Let's see which direction the Eagles are headed towards right here. North? East? Northwest, excuse me? It's the Steelers or Buffalo? I'm gonna say it's the Steelers. Yeah, right there. Boom. Steelers. Now remember, the Eagles earlier picked up some defensive help from the Giants after they beat them. They got Dexter Lawrence on their D-line. He's pretty much their only defensive player right now. Let's see how they handle the Steelers here. NFC, AFC matchup. Cross-conference matchup right here. This is a rare matchup. The Eagles are tied with the Steelers at 35 apiece. Fourth quarter. Who's gonna take it all? Oh my god, it's going to overtime. Alright, we got a good game here. Let's slow it down. Eagles, Jalen Hurts, Saquon Barkley, Dallas Goddard, AJ Brown on this offense. Can they get it done? Oh my god, Jalen Hurts gets it done in overtime. And Dexter Lawrence stays alive. They also get to steal a player from the Steelers. Since they need some defensive help, we're going to go ahead and give them TJ Watt. All right, the Eagles got a good defense now. Paired with that stacked offense, this team can make some moves. Eagles take over Steelers territory right here. They are gone. We're grown now. We only have a certain amount of teams. Panthers still alive. Same with the Patriots. Let's see who's up next here. We got the Buffalo Bills. The Bills will be headed towards West, Northwest. We crossing the, uh, what is that? The ri what river is that? A lake? Well, it might be a lake. I want to say it's Lake Ontario. Ooh, ooh, I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments, but they're crossing the lake and they're gonna face off against the Detroit Lions, who's got a good amount of land. Remember, the Lions got Jaquan Brisker from the Bears. They beat him earlier. Let's see if he helps out the defense against the Buffalo Bills. Josh Allen is in the building. He's making his imperialism debut here. First quarter, Josh Allen's up. Third quarter, is this the end of the road for the Detroit Lions right here? It is. Josh Allen beats them comfortably 39 to 20, which means the Bills. They'll skip over Lake Erie, Lake Ontario, one of the lakes. They're also taking over Illinois too, man. The Bills got some nice little land now too. Everybody's building. And we're also going to put Amon Ross St. Brown on the Bills. We're pairing him with Josh Allen. There's a lot of crazy wide receiver quarterback duos that are being formed through this imperialism map. There should be some high scoring games coming soon as we're coming towards the end here. Let's spin the wheel once again, see which team is up next. We have the Raiders. The team that owns the most land, which way? Well, the Raiders be headed. They're headed south. The Texans. They're the most south team from the Raiders right here, man. Right here. The Texans. Now, if the Texans pull this off. Oh my god. They would go from just having the bottom to literally half of the map. Remember, the Raiders have a stacked team. They got Mahomes and McCaffrey on the same offense with Brock Bowers and Devontae Adams. They're playing the Texans. Who's making their debut in the Imperialism map. Alright, so let's see how this turns out. Houston pull off the upset. This would be the upset of the century. Fourth quarter right here. We have a close game, ladies and gentlemen. The Raiders score a touchdown, though. Mahomes just will not go away in the fourth quarter. This guy, man. This guy by CJ Stroud responds. CJ Stroud said, I'm up next. All right, come on, CJ. Get the Raiders out, man. No, no, no. Oh, this guy. Bro, this Mahomes guy, he just won't go away. He won't, he won't do it. He's so annoying. Please. Please. No. No. Oh my god, the Raiders are getting more land. They're like a black hole, man. They're literally just eating teams away. The Texans have been eliminated. And that means the Raiders add Stefan Diggs to complete the trio with him, Mahomes, and McCaffrey. What is this offense? Oh my god, the Raiders are taking over the entire map here. Who we have next? The Los Angeles Rams. I mean, there's really no point in spinning the arrow. They have to play the Raiders. Can the Rams stop them in their debut? Kid Matt Stafford put an end to this madness. I don't even want the Rams to win this game, honestly. But the Raiders are winning so much, it's getting ridiculous. Oh my god. 14 to 9. This offense should be fireworks. 28 points at halftime. Holy crap. This might be a 30 point win. So close. 25 point win. The black hole continues. It just won't stop, man. They keep taking over the west side. It's getting ridiculous at this point, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Look at the west side of this map. It is all Las Vegas Raiders. I guess they take Cooper Cup. Four and a half star player. Now you got
got Cup, Diggs, Mahomes, McCaffrey. What is this offense? How is a team supposed to beat this? I don't even know. 11 teams remain on the Imperialism map right here. Let's keep spinning the wheel. We still have another power up that's there that the Raiders are probably going to claim. Saints are on the board. They beat Atlanta earlier. They took back Kamara. So the Saints are still the Saints, but they have more land out with Georgia. Let's see what direction they're going. They're going northwest. They're facing the Raiders. That is directly to Raider land right there. All right. Look, if there's any hope, though, it's Derek Carr. Revenge game versus the Raiders. Can he get it done? Can he take over half of America right here? Derek Carr, first quarter. Oh, my God. New Orleans is out. No way. No way. No way. Oh my god! This is the biggest upset in the entire video. What is happening? Derek Carr's funny on the show. Oh my god, I cannot believe what I'm witnessing right now. He dropped 65 on the Vegas Raiders, on the Holmes, McCaffrey, Cooper Cup, and Stephon Diggs. He drops a 30 plus point win too, which means he gets an extra territory as well. The Saints are so bad. They get this territory because they were going in this direction and they get this entire thing. Wow. Raiders are officially eliminated. The black hole is gone. They also get an extra territory, so I'm gonna color this state in right there. More importantly, because McCaffrey is technically the best player on the Raiders, we're getting rid of the holes. We'll see you later. Thank God, man. I had enough. I'm sick of this guy, man. He, he almost took over all of America. And so now, Christian McCaffrey is a New Orleans Saints running back. Wow. We have 10 teams left. The Panthers and the Patriots are still here. Let's see who is next up in the Imperialism wheel right here. We have the Jaguars. The first time they get featured in the video today, and they're heading southeast to face off against Tampa Bay. Interesting. And in this all-Florida matchup right here, Jacksonville is leading so far. Jacksonville's going to take it. 43-22 to against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Jacksonville takes over down here. There you go. Still got the Patriots down here. Remember, the Dolphins lost to the Patriots earlier in this battle across the sea, river, whatever, ocean. You know what? Now, I'm kind of hoping the Carolina Panthers win it all. Like, they're just chilling there. They have not done a single thing. I hope they take it all. So now Levante David, five-star linebacker, joins the Jacksonville Jaguars right there. That's going to help their defense a lot. Let's spin the wheel again right here. Let's see. Oh, it's the Patriots. All right, the Patriots have such little land. I I'm a little scared. But remember, the Patriots do have Tyree Kill, so you really never know. All right, they're going down. They're going southwest which means they play the Buffalo Bills. There he is. He looks like that car meme. He's a Patriot, and he's facing off against a Monroe on the Bills. Let's see if the Patriots can win it, man. 7-3. Tyreek, can he carry the offense? Oh, my God. Drake May's putting on a show. How are they winning against Josh Allen? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. New England. Oh, my God. New England takes down Buffalo. Hold on, man. Buffalo's got a lot of land. This is all Buffalo right here. I got to see this, man. How many yards did Tyreek put up? 261. Oh, my God. Drake May had 448 and 5 touchdowns, too. That's actually hilarious. The Patriots are alive, baby. Fill in these states right there. Buffalo is red. This part is red too. England's got a chance too because you also got to consider the fact that we're taking the Bills' best player away. Like I know Drake may just ball, but now that we add Josh Allen to the mix, the New England Patriots look like a completely different team. They're a sleeper pick. All right, it's a new day for your boy. Eight teams remain in the Imperialism. We're starting it off with the Green Bay Packers. Keep in mind, this ain't just the regular Packers. This is a Justin Jefferson-led Packers too. Which way are they going? They're headed out east. They're going to be facing off against you. England Patriots. Justin Jefferson, can he lead the Packers to a win against Josh Allen and Tyree Kill on the Patriots? Here we go. First quarter at Lambeau Field. Oh, it's high scoring. That's what we expected here, ladies and gentlemen. We got some high power offensive players playing in this game. This is absolutely nuts, man. What a second and third quarter there for the Packers. Can they close it out? They do. They barely hang on. Oh, my God. They won my three. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Let me look at Jefferson stats. Jordan Love, 393, six touchdowns. Jefferson, 224, two touchdowns. This is why we play Imperialism. And just like that, Green Bay takes over this region right here. And they take over all of this east side right here. New England is gone. We will see you later, New England. No more red. They also get the bottom here because, remember, they beat the Dolphins, too. So, Green Bay takes over 
Florida. It looks like to me, Green Bay and New Orleans, two NFC teams, have the most amount of territory right now, but teams like the Carolina Panthers are still hanging in there. And since the Packers won, they get to steal Patriots wide receiver Tyreek Hill to improve their squad. Seven teams remain on the imperialism map. Now we have finally gotten the Carolina Panthers. No! Oh no, this is not gonna be good for them, man. How are they gonna win? They have no players. They're going southwest, so they're gonna skip over just grazed by New Orleans, and they're gonna hit Jacksonville. They get two territories. They get the empty state, and they get all of Jacksonville if they win this game. Carolina fans, brace yourselves. Can they do it? Can they win a game? To be fair, the Jaguars only have Levante Davis. So technically speaking, there might be a chance, right? Oh my god, 19 to 0 to start the game for Carolina. Oh my god, please pull the upset off. Please don't choke this lead, man. Please, Carolina. Yeah! Carolina advances. They're taking over land. Oh my god, Carolina is taking over land, ladies and gentlemen. Jacksonville, we will see you later from the Imperialism. Thank you for playing. Oh my god, there's some blue on the map. I can't believe they won a game and they get to steal a player too. Okay, what the hell do the Panthers need? I, I, I honestly, you know what? I think they just need a quarterback. Let's just give them Trevor Lawrence, all right? Carolina now has a quarterback at least. Can they pull off the upset and win it all? Jacksonville is removed from the wheel. We now have six teams remaining. Who is up next? The Commanders. Now they're in the middle of like four or five teams here. So let's see which direction the Commanders are going to be headed towards. They're headed north. West. This is a matchup, ladies and gentlemen. They're headed towards Green Bay, and they're gonna take some empty land, too. Remember, the Commanders got Jamar Chase from the Bengals, and they got Miles Garrett from the Browns, but they're facing up against a Packers team with Justin Jefferson and Tyreek Hill, which means this is Jefferson versus Chase. With Jaden Daniels at quarterback. Oh my god. What is gonna happen here? Who is gonna take over? Let's take a look. First quarter. Oh, Washington's off to a hot start. Washington's up by 14 at halftime. Alright, they're up by 10. That's pretty comfortable right now. Will they hold on to the lead to get another passing touchdown? Jamar Chase is making a huge difference for the commanders and they hold on. Miles Garrett holds the fourth. The Packers are now eliminated from the imperialism map. The commanders are taking over all of this land right here oh my god we will see you later green bay man oh man green bay had a nice run man but washington and new orleans have so much land right now and i know i'm probably supposed to add like a defensive player maybe like a rashawn gary to the commanders but i think it's only right we add justin jefferson to pair him up with jamar chase now they got Jaden daniels the lsu heisman quarterback going to the wide receiver duo all right this lsu connection is reuniting on the washington Commanders. Five teams remain on the map. We have the Saints, Commanders, Panthers, Ravens, and Eagles. Four NFC teams and one AFC team. The Ravens are hanging on in there for the AFC. Let's see who is up next right here, man. We still have a power up in the top left there. Oh, Carolina's up. No. <laughs> oh, they're either playing Washington or New Orleans. I mean, that's who they're surrounded by. Let's see who they're gonna play here. Oh, it looks like Washington. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. All right, well, Trevor Lawrence has to lead his team. If Carolina wins this, <laughs> I mean, can Trevor Lawrence lead a victory against the LSU Commanders? Let's find out here. Here we go. First quarter. Oh, the LSU Commanders. Oh, my God. These guys got fireworks on offense. Oh, makes it a four-point game, though. Carolina. Oh my god, Carolina's winning. Oh my god, what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Ted Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson take it though. Oh, they're coming down. Yep. yep they score on this weak ass defense. Trevor Lawrence. Can he lead a drive? Two minute drill. Oh my goodness. Oh, they run the ball on him. They missed the extra point though. Here come the commanders. This is the last chance. Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson. Quarterback hands it off to Brian Robinson. Oh no, many men. Many, 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 man. Oh my god, one last chance. Hail Mary? No! No! <laughs> Carolina! Oh my god. Can you know what, though? Carolina made the top five. I feel like that's impressive by itself. Like, I don't think anyone would have expected that at the start of this video. Washington takes over Carolina's territory. Carolina is evil. 
erased from the map. Thank you so much. They actually brought me some joy, all right? They brought me some joy watching them play. We'll take this guy, Jordan Fuller. It's not a big name player, but I mean, it's another four star DB to add for the commanders. Now we have our final four. Let's see who is up next here. Who's gonna be next? It's Washington again. All right, let's see which team they're gonna face here. Let's see which direction they have to go. They have to go east. And that looks like a divisional matchup against the Eagles. And TJ Watt and Dexter Lawrence on the Philadelphia Eagles take down this high-powered offense of Jaden Daniels, Jamar Chase, and Justin Jefferson. Not to mention, this defense is nasty too. Jonathan Allen, Miles Garrett, and Fuller. For 150 million salary cap maximum, that is a filthy team. NFC rivals, who's gonna win the NFC East? Washington gets out to an early lead. TJ Watt and Dexter Lawrence, they're not stopping nothing. Oh my goodness. Oh, this might be a 30 plus point win. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This late into the year, 38 point win. Washington is dangerous. Ooh, boy. Oh my God. That is filthy, man. Washington, 48 points hung on the Eagles. Look at this. Jaden Daniels, 536 touchdowns. What is happening? Jamar Chase, 216, three touchdowns. Justin Jefferson, 287, two touchdowns. That is so filthy. All right, we got to say goodbye to the Eagles right here, man. They had a good run. Picked up some defensive players within the division, but at the same time, came up against the Washington Commanders. We have three teams remaining. And because that was a 30 plus point win, Washington gets an extra territory right here all right so now three teams remain i kind of messed this map up low key because there's still a times two power up available and this is supposed to take out two teams with one win but we have three teams left so it wouldn't really make sense if i used it because it would just end the entire thing in one game when there's supposed to be two games left so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give one of these territories to washington and i'm also gonna give one of these territories to the saints all right it's my first time doing this imperialism stuff all right i really don't really know what i'm doing either i hope you guys are still enjoying to this point i'm having a lot of fun making this actually i think this is a really cool concept but now we have three teams remaining the commanders also get saquon barkley Added to this offense with Jamar Chase, with Justin Jefferson, Jaden Daniels at quarterback. I don't know who is going to beat this team, man, but we still got three teams left. All right, let's see who is up next here. It is the Commanders. Which way is Washington going to go? Oh, upwards. Northeast means they're attacking poor little Baltimore right here. Here we go. Week 14 at the Ravens. The Commanders absolutely have the best team on the map. Look at this stacked roster. And they take down Lamar Jackson, Derrick Henry, Mark Andrews, Roquan Smith. And they do it here at Baltimore. Let's see it. The battle of the East Side right here. East Coast first quarter. Washington jumps out to a lead. This Washington offense is scary. They can blow off the top, but the Ravens are hanging around. 21 to 21. Oh my god, the Ravens have a lead! Lamar Jackson has a 14-point lead, ladies and gentlemen. The Commanders are going for it. Ooh, they get it. Let's see if the Commanders can complete a comeback in the fourth quarter. If it's anybody that can do it, it's them. Holy crap, seven-point game. What is going to happen here? Miles Garrett was too slow. No way. Oh my god, Miles Garrett's the one selling Jordan Fuller. Washington's defense is selling them. Oh my god. Offense is doing fine. I mean, offense is definitely moving the ball. They're going for it on the fourth down. Interception, Jaden Daniels. Oh, two seconds left. Washington's out by seven. Can they win it? No, they cannot. Washington. No. They have the best team in the world. Saquon, Jaden Daniels, Miles Garrett, Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson. And Lamar Jackson takes him down. I have a banana in my hand. I cannot believe Miles Garrett just sold for the commanders. But the Ravens, with no players on their team, because remember, they beat the Jets, which they would get Brees Hall, but they don't need Brees Hall because they got Derrick Henry. So they pretty much just have their base team, and they took down the commanders all-star team. Wow. What an upset late here in the imperialism map and washington finishes top three we now have the final matchup right here ravens versus saints and for the ravens we're gonna pick up jamar chase off of the commanders we got christian mccaffrey with the new orleans saints they're facing off against jamar chase on the ravens all right the final game of nfl retrieval 25 imperialism to capture the entire map who will come out victorious here will it be the ravens or will it be the saints saints are off hot up 10 to 7 cmc and the offense are operating but 
we're tied up the game at halftime. Holy crap, what is happening here, ladies and gentlemen? Baltimore goes up 10. And we are in the fourth quarter. CMC takes it. Roquan Smith punches it out for a fumble. Oh my goodness, and the Ravens go up by 16. They're up three possessions here in the fourth quarter. Can CMC and the Saints do anything about it? They do score a touchdown. But is it too little too late? I think it is. Only 14 seconds left. They get another touchdown. They need an onside kick there. They need to recover. Ravens recover the ball, and I think that is it, ladies and gentlemen. The Baltimore Ravens, who this entire time really just operated this small piece of land right there. They managed to win the first ever NFL Rushable 25 Imperialism, America's Purple. And they won it just by adding Jamar Chase onto the roster. So I think the verdict is, give Lamar a receiver, and he'll do wonders, all right? And he might win a Super Bowl. He just might. Thank you guys for watching.